All right, so we got the tube chucked up inside of the uh, collar is what we call that, and uh, that's for an eighth inch. And like I said, they, you can switch these collets out just like you can on the facing tools and uh, you know, fit the application that, that you're uh, working on. And uh, so it just has little Allen screws here that allow you to open and close the doors. And then you just want to make sure that you got your seam in there lined up with the, the tip of the tungsten. The lining's not so great in here, so but down inside there, there's the tungsten, and we just align that tungsten with the seam. And then uh, there's, there's your welder. It's the AMI welder. Seven uh, so 207A is the model that we use in here. It's it's not the newest model. Obviously, it's not Windows based, but uh, it does it gets the job done. There's even older models than this out there still in use by a lot of the unions. So. And then you got your key fob up here, you know, your pendant, whatever you want to call it. And that's what you use to uh, select the different weld schedules, start the weld sequence, end the weld sequence, etc. Let's get this tightened up here. And then we monitor the gas, internal gas pressure of the tubing with what's called a magna helix. And uh, the gas obviously comes in through this tubing, goes through the tube as it's welding, and then out to the magna helix side, which senses the pressure inside the tubing, and you can monitor it. We, for eighth inch, we set it up for about three and a half. And then you always want to put your, we use um, stainless steel custom windows to cover up the arc. That also helps contain the outside shielding gas, which is argon as well, runs through the weld head, keeps the oxygen from around the outside, but you know that's doesn't work as well as the internal gas does because oxygen still gets pulled in through the cracks and crevices of the, the tube clamps. But, all right, so we're all ready to burn a weld. Obviously, our gas isn't where we want it right now. As you can see, we're running at four, and we want it at three and a half, so we just Turn our needle valve down, get it to around three and a half. There's where we want it at, and then we strike the arc by hitting the start sequence, and it'll pre-purge, which just means that it gives it time to purge the head and purge the tubing. And then in a few seconds, it'll start the arc. There it goes. You can hear it, and you can see a little bit of the light emitting from the sides of the clamp. A pulse weld, and you can hear that going, making that funny noise as it rotates around the tubing. Pulse weld just means it has like a front amp and a back amp. It goes back and forth from a low to a high, to, which aids in the aids in keeping the tube from getting too hot, creating concavity and stuff like that. So that's it. That's burning the welds. That's what we do on auto welding basically the same process from eighth all the way to half inch and we have weld heads that do larger tubing than that as well but uh, pretty much anything over three inch we just go ahead and use hand welds and walk the cup on it and stuff like that but anyways we'll put up some more videos of different types of things as we go along and uh, hope that was somewhat informative for you guys have any questions just let me know post up a post on the video have a great day later